we go. Happy St. Patty's Day, Cincinnati. This is Gary Rosignol, Cincinnati's only rock and roll realtor. I have with me my friend in green, Mr. Russell Kling. Good morning. And we have over there in Dan. brown, Dan. Good morning. He's not in the St. Patty's Day spirit. <laughs> my name is Gary O. Rosignol today. <laughs> this is Russell O. Kling. <laughs> We're going to do everything St. Patty's Day today. And by the way, before we get on the air, mark down your calendar tonight. Come down to the Sharonville VFW Hall if you want to hear Bluestone Ivory live. Uh, we'll be there from 7.30 till 11, playing all your fun dance music. We've got um, a lot of stuff going on down there, so it'll be a lot of fun. Anyhow, sit tight. We will be with you in just a moment with the... Uh, the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour. We're going to talk a lot of neat things going on in the marketplace, uh, how you can learn about, um, oh, there's my cousin. Yeah. Crank him up. Lonnie Mack. There you go. Yeah. Lonnie Mack is my cousin. He made this famous and the Flying V guitar famous. Thank God. Anyhow, I'm going to plug in the studio feed so you get to hear the end of his song live. Broadcasting from high atop the Alms Hotel, Cincinnati's Motor Hotel, this is WDJO Cincinnati. ABC News Now, I'm Mona Rivera. The former number two man at the FBI is the latest to be fired in the Trump administration. Andrew McCabe was let go last night on the verge of his retirement. President Trump is calling the firing a great day. But McCabe says he was ousted as part of a broader effort to discredit the FBI and thwart the Russia probe. In Miami, crews this morning began pulling wrecked cars from the rubble beneath a collapsed bridge. Meanwhile, a warning about that bridge was apparently missed. More on that from ABC's Victor Okendo at the scene. Two days before the collapse, a bridge engineer alerted state authorities about cracks in the bridge. Overnight, FIU responded, saying they met with contractors and the Department of Transportation about those cracks, but determined they were not a safety concern. Right now, investigators say it's too early to determine what went wrong? A Cinderella victory for March Madness. The number 16 seed knocked off the number one seed in the biggest upset in NCAA history. This is ABC News. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Courtney Spamer. For today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies. It'll be chilly with occasional rain throughout the day. High near 44 degrees. Clearing skies tonight. Cold as the low drops down to 28. And a milder day for tomorrow to end the weekend. Lots of sunshine and a high of 55. We'll see cloudy skies returning as we get into Monday, a breezy afternoon with a high of 52 degrees. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Courtney Spamer on 1480 WDJO and now on FM 99.5 and 107.9. The following is a paid program. Its views and opinions are not necessarily those of this station or its management. Good morning and welcome to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour starring Gary Rosignol of Remax Preferred Group. To be part of the program, dial 513-563-1480 to get your answers to questions about your home and property. That number again, 513-563-1480. Now, here's Gary. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. My name is Gary O. Rosignol. <laughs> <laughs> We're now in living stereo on 99.5 FM and 107.9 FM as well as 1480 AM as we have been for years. Now you can hear living stereo. Oh, is that, oh I know. Great. My broker, Miles, has it throughout his whole house in stereo. He says, I love it. So, well, I'm your host. Like I said, I'm Gary O. Rosignol with Remax Preferred Group. I'm Cincinnati's only rock and roll realtor, and our purpose here on Saturday mornings is to bring you interesting thoughts, lots of music, and I love to bring you entertaining guests, and today is no different. I have with me a long, long time friend. We've known each other a long, long time. time. Yes. Yeah. Long we've watched our kids grow up and <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This is Mr. Russell Kling. He is with People's First Savings Bank. Yay. Good morning, Gary. Oh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd. Yeah, the crowd. <laughs> This live radio. We had to wake him up a little bit. <laughs> it is a little bit early for some folks. Anyhow. 
So uh, People's First Savings Bank, it's kind of a new adventure for you. been there about six months now? Um, yeah, I started back in November, and um, it's a great little bank. You've been around a long time. I have been around. I've worked for small companies. I work for large companies. Uh, I really kind of prefer the small organizations that – Seems like things can get done a lot quicker, smoother, easier. It's uh, it's hands on, hands on. Yeah, um, if you want to get something done right, yeah. Get it. Well, and and they've got some great products, uh, great service. It's just a, a fantastic little place. And to work it's for. getting better. Absolutely. Things uh, we talked about this week. You're introducing some more. some new things, and uh, they're they've been. Uh, we've had some really great <laughs> success with some of the things and some of the promotions we've done. They've decided to uh, expand that out some more, and we'll talk a little bit about that yeah. uh, further in the show. People's First Savings Bank. It sounds like a, a small, but but a good client of mine, a good friend, uh, Richard Cox. He banks there all the time, and he he they they do him really well. And I've and and, uh, and I think you also know they've been a huge supporter of the Dragonfly Foundation oh, yeah. over the years. And, yes, they uh, have. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. You bet. I love people who love the Dragonfly Foundation. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> We're really, really working for that. And you know, I've got a birthday coming up and on, on Facebook. You can do this thing where, you know, if you want to, um, instead of just saying hi or, you know, sending cards over, just, just donate some money to the Dragonfly yeah, Foundation. Exactly. You know, we've raised $200 so far. My initial goal was 250 and I upped it to 5 So hopefully between now and the end of next week, we'll get there. <laughs> you know, every little bit counts for those yep, folks. Yep, absolutely. And we will uh, we'll talk about it. Bill Culligan will be on um, later on. Uh, Rhea is out of town. But uh, Bill, he's he loves he loves it. He actually sometimes he comes down here just to mm-hmm. talk about the Dragonfly Foundation. So we'll do that. So, um Phone number here is 513-563-1480. If you have a question about financing, refinancing, the market values, the first thing to do if you want to buy a house, and we're going to talk about how we're going to help the community with that later on, too, in the show. We've got a really major thing cooking, Yeah, and we're, we're excited about that. Uh, call us, 513-563-1480. But you know what? I always like to give away gift cards to our favorite coffee joint, Starbucks. So so if you want to get a $10 gift card to Starbucks, and I just love giving these things away. So, folks, call us up, 513-563-1480. All you have to do is tell me what Elvis's mansion in Memphis, Tennessee was named. Mm, they should be able to get that one. That's an easy one. <laughs> See how many Elvis fans we have out there. Oh, WDJO has tons <laughs> of Elvis fans. They do Elvis things year-round here on the, on the studio. So if you can tell me what the um, name of Elvis's mansion was in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, you will get yourself a $10 gift card to Starbucks. It's just easiest Easiest way to get $10. You bet. Right. So we wanted to talk about the, um, the, the real estate market. It's, it's, um, I've been in the business for a few years. Yes. Um, 23, no, like 32, 32 years. <laughs> Well, this this picture was uh, when uh, it was in 1990. I don't know if Facebook folks. I'll show. I'll pull it. But uh, I had my my youngest daughter posed in front of my Remax Elite One sign back in then, and she was four years old. Well, um, my granddaughter, yeah, picture. Brindley, <laughs> she was sitting in front of my sign in front of my office, and I snapped the picture so i put the two together it's awesome that's it, a great it, picture it, yeah what a great marketing tool too and they're just so beautiful that's just they just love it i love it too so um but the market changes uh, just like the weather <laughs> yeah. when's spring coming gary uh, <laughs> tuesday <laughs> it's supposed to be but who knows you know cincinnati's weather um anyhow so it people always ask you know what what's the market like and I, I'll share my thoughts, but what? How is it on your end? Well, you know, our our business has been steady, um, but the the biggest con- complaint or concerns that we hear from customers is they, you know, we'll get them pre-approved, and they can't find a house. Mm-hmm. And when they do find a house, then they find themselves into a multiple bidding situation. Yep. And they come back and they're very disappointed. They said we put in a great bid, we thought we had it, and they took somebody else's mm-hmm. bid. Um, starting to see some weird things um, that the real estate agents will say, okay, we're going to 
accept contracts up to such a date, mm-hmm. and then we'll make a decision. Yeah, uh, and that's something I've haven't really seen in the law in the years I've been in the business. Well, you can pull that off with certain bank properties. The banks will do that. <clears throat> they will <clears throat> they will collect all the offers and they'll say on this date our asset manager is going to take a look at them all and they'll either accept one or counter one and and we'll let you. So we need your highest and best. That's the big catchphrase, highest and best. Well, it doesn't mean that to always take the highest. Not necessarily. Not ne- I've seen them take different ones, and uh, you're like, well, why did they, you know, I had a better offer. And mm-hmm. all of a sudden they say, oh, sorry, we don't want your offer. Yeah. We'll take someone else's. One of my investors in Mason, we put an offer in on a house that needed a lot of work. And, you know, I mean, it's going to take about $40,000 to get this house to where it's going to be rentable. They were asking quite a bit of money for this property, almost almost as much as what it's going to be worth when they get done with it. So, you know, we put a righteous offer, and it's going to be cash, no contingencies. I mean, he doesn't do inspections, appraisals. It's just basically set the date, I'll bring the money, and we close, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, do the title work and whatnot. But um, they took another offer. Well, that's been about three weeks ago. It just came back on the market again. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent the listing agent. I says, well, here's my cash offer again. No contingencies. Cash close. We'll close next week. I mean, it's a done deal if they take. Well, we were again in highest and best. We upped our price a little bit more again, and they took another offer. So I'm just going to sit back and wait, and I'll bet you what, two or three weeks from now, it'll be back, back on the market, market. again. <laughs> The, the other thing uh, that, uh, you know, we're seeing is still a, a shortage of inventory out mm-hmm. there. And, um, you know, we're, we really can't pinpoint exactly what the cause is. But, you know, a lot of people are sitting on um, low interest rate loans. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're saying, well, you know, rates have gone from three and a half to four and a half. And, you know, do I really want to make a Down move? Down four and a quarter. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Yeah. So do I really want to make a, a move? And then... Um, you know, there's just not a whole lot of, of new construction out there. We are seeing more and more, but they're just not moving on to the next house yeah. like they used to. And, well, here's the dilemma, Russell. Um, <clears throat> with the low inventory, sellers are afraid that they're going to sell their house and they're not going to be able to find, find something. something to move to. Mm-hmm. So they're doing kind of a reverse. Used to be a, a buyer would put an offer in on a house would be subject to or contingent on them selling their house that they need to sell. Well, sellers are selling their house with the contingency that they can find a house for them. Something I have not seen in the past. That's, uh, you know, it's, yeah, but it's, it's, it's how strange the market is right now. It's a negative for the buyer. Well, and, and sellers don't want to take a contingent offer when it's the market is this good. Right. <clears throat> um, you're also starting to see a shrinkage of the amount of closing costs that the seller is willing to pay. And they're saying, Hey, I want top dollar. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, you know, closing costs are getting to be a, a big factor yeah. and, you know, it used to be, Oh yeah, the seller will put, you know, just, you know, put your offer in at 95% of the, the, the asking price and, and we'll throw in some couple thousand dollars for closing costs and, yeah. and they'll take it. <laughs> and you know, that has been such a tradition for years. It just, uh, part of doing business that the seller pays closing costs, a lot of buyers just think that, hey, sellers are going to pay closing costs. And they think it just comes out of the air. They don't realize where that comes out of the $2,500 <laughs> comes from. Mm-hmm. So which <clears throat> when, when we had the market change back in 2008 and 2009, things tightened up quite a bit. In fact, appraisals got to be very conservative. And, I mean, they were gun-shy. They not only had one underwriter looking over their shoulder, they had two and three underwriters watching every move that they made. And that's and a lot of new regulations came out of that, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah, they're very gun-shy. And they're still a little gun-shy. Yeah, yeah. So if, uh, if a seller agrees to – if a buyer agrees to pay over the asking price for a house, building in those closing costs, and the appraisal comes back, and it's not – doesn't appraise out. Doesn't appraise out. Now we got a problem. And we we have seen some um, appraisals come back not at the sale price. And and basically what we're seeing is those appraisers are looking, you know, four to six months back on properties that sold, and property values are continuing to go up. That that four or five percent, you know, that they may have gone up since you know last year. Mm-hmm. 
And now, all of a sudden, it, the house is not appraising because they're comparing it to homes that were sold a while yeah. ago. So mm-hmm. we've seen a couple of those that have come in there. They're close, but they're just not there. Mm-hmm. And, again, they're building in the, the sale price. They're paying full price for the house. They want closing costs. And it's over the listing price, and it's like, eh, not and they're afraid of the inspections. You know, what's going to happen in the inspections? Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll have Tom Capuano with uh, Pillar to Post on. We'll talk about that. Um, <clears throat> some news with the inspection uh, industry right now, too. Uh, you know, Kentucky, the inspectors have to be licensed, mm-hmm. which means they have to go through certification. And they have to provide a quality inspection, and they have to provide uh, a, a thorough inspection report on these handwritten things. So uh, Ohio's been lagging and lagging. So the real estate industry, that's what realtors have done. We've put in votes. We've written to our congressman. And we now have it moved through the, the, the doors, and now it's at the main table. And hopefully the vote will come positive in a few weeks, and Ohio will eventually require their home inspectors to be licensed. Well, that, that way you know exactly what you're getting. It's, uh, you know, we all complain sometimes about being overregulated, but there are some things that need to be consistent. Well, the scary thing is you or I, either, or Dan. I can be a home inspector and tomorrow, I don't know yeah. much about it. <laughs> Get a clipboard, a stepladder, and why well, hire a professional to come in. <laughs> right. So, I mean, that that's the, these are some of the things you need to think about when it's talking about buying a house. Well, I talked to a buddy of mine who uh, works at a title company, um, owns a title company, and uh, he's pushing for the uh, uh, elimination of the release of dower rights. Oh, and uh, you, you and I have you know been around a long time, and mm-hmm. and how tricky that can be sometimes, especially in divorce situations, or you know the spouse is out of the country, and it's like they want to finish buying this house, and it becomes a huge issue. So you know that's something that I know that they're working on to to eliminate that because a lot of states don't have dowers. a lot of people don't know what dower rights means <laughs> <laughs> they're like why do i have to be at the closing this is all going to be in your name and right, it's like, yeah. well the spouse has to be there yeah. to sign the mortgage to say uh, okay i know you're buying a property but i don't want anything to do with it mm-hmm. so you have to still go there and sign and right uh, but that, that's been a been an issue for a long time in the real estate community our uh, cincinnati board of realtors president for 2018 sends out uh, his real estate news every month, and this is the the most recent one. I know you have a copy yep. of it, too. Uh, talks about January home sales take a breather average. Price sets record for 19th consecutive month. Property values are going up. That's yeah. great news. That's the best reason to buy a house. It's- so here's the double-edged sword. Property values are going up because there's less inventory. Correct. Having less inventory, there's fewer properties for buyers to choose from. Now, here's... Here's the solution, and if, if I was the um, the head honcho of the real estate market, people just listen to us this morning. <laughs> if you're thinking about selling your house, put it on the market. Now is the time. It's almost spring. It is. It's uh, <laughs> this is the beginning of the home buying season. If everybody got their houses on the market <clears throat> this week, there would be a nice pool of properties available for those who are trying to sell their house to buy another house. Because mm-hmm. the house that you're trying to sell. Uh, will fit somebody else's needs who wants to sell their house and somebody that wants to sell their house that you might want to buy, if they put theirs on the market, then it'll be there for you. That would be the solution. Yep. It's uh, usually a progression. You know, you've got your first-time home buyers. You know, they buy their first house, you know, medium price. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, eventually they like to step up to the next one and then step up to the next one. And at a certain point, they want to start downgrading it. Yeah. But it, the problem is that if that chain gets is just kind of clogged up right now. I'd like to hear from Phil Miracle. He uh, usually watches in on Facebook. Phil, if you're uh, listening, it's 513 513- Five six three one four eight zero. Maybe just give us a call and give us a two minute uh, spiel on your thoughts on the solution for our our market that we're in right now. You, you got your finger on the pulse of what's going on here in Cincinnati. Being president of the Cincinnati Area Board of Realtors, and thank you very much for that service. And by the way, speaking of service, I'd like to take this moment and express my gratitude to all the troops, the veterans, and the first responders. These are the men and women who selflessly strive to keep our nation and city streets safe and free. And I, what would we do without them? Mm-hmm. I'm telling you what, it's just amazing the work that they do. If you're out and about and you see somebody, a military or, or in a service uniform, 
give them the thank you sign from afar. Tell them how much we appreciate what they do and we love them for it. Give them a big hug, pick up their tab, buy their lunch, whatever. Just let them know that we do think about them. So we do need to go away for our first break. When we come back, we're going to have a moment with Miles. He calls in every week, and we're going to talk about how to be informed buyer in today's seller's market. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on 1480 WDJO, 99.5 FM, and 107.9 FM. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day this Saturday at the Paul Vale VFW Post in Sharonville with Cincinnati's greatest classic rock band, Bluestone Ivory. Just $10 per person includes chips, pretzels, and an affordable cash bar. Plus, a portion of the proceeds benefit the Dragonfly Foundation. Non-stop music and hard-driving horn sounds in the Bluestone Ivory. Doors open at 7 with music from 7.30 to 11.30. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day this Saturday at the Paul Vale VFW Post in Sharonville with Bluestone Ivory. Visit bluestoneivory.com for ticket info. Hi, this is Dan Beebe, owner of Safe Discount Drugs in Covington. At Safe Discount Drugs, our focus is filling your prescriptions quickly and accurately with low... Tom Stevens is watching. Don Sheets is watching. Uh, David Ackerman is watching. Very cool. Great. Uh, Ken Stringer. Steffi. Hi, Dad. She says, Bryn says hi. Very good. John Wagner. Good morning, John. Matt's watching, too. How about that? My whole family's watching. That's great. Uh, let's see. Lisa. Tammy, my sister-in-law, Tammy. Uh, let's see. Teresa. We'll see you tonight, Teresa. Miles, you're coming on next. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. O. Rosignol. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, we're just going to have fun. Look at that. we got tons of... Jane, Jane's watching. Kelly. All right. I'm going to put you back in the studio feed, and we're going to get back over on the microphones. We're ready to start the second phase. Five years, they've been the go-to shop for treasure and bargain hunters from the tri-state and beyond. Beautiful antiques, jewelry, collectibles, and one-of-a-kind items. Copper Bridge Antique Mall, a truly unique shopping experience. 7508 Hamilton Avenue in the heart of historic Mount Healthy. 513-521-5739. Do you own or run a business? Problems with your heating or refrigeration systems can strike any time, costing you lost time, customers, and money. With fast around-the-clock service since 1937, Valley Refrigeration will have your business up and running again in no time. Go to valleyrefrigerationandair.com. Licensed in Ohio and Kentucky, contact us today for a hassle-free estimate. Phone 513-733-1188. 733-1188. Valley Refrigeration. We keep the city cool. Oh, get on. Let's rock the house. We are rocking and rolling this morning, ladies and gentlemen. St. Patty's Day is upon us, and so celebrate safely. But first, before we go any further, I have... There we go. Our captain's favorite music. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, all week long. Love when we hear from Miles. This is the moment with Miles. Good morning, Miles. Hey, Gary Aaron Gobra, my friend. Yes. Last night, Chris and I were proud to represent Remax Prefer Group and the Southeastern Indiana Board of Realtors as volunteer greeters at the Dearborn County Home Builders and Garden Show. The show goes on through this Sunday. Dearborn County, located in the southeasternmost corner of Indiana, borders Ohio and Kentucky, with quick access to major interstate arteries and 20 minutes from the greater Cincinnati airport. Last night at the show, we met several home builders that will work with our agents to build you a new home, and many trade companies that will help you make a real resale home the home of your dreams. Dearborn County's architecture is diverse with styles ranging from the Federal and the Greek Revival of the early decades of the 19th century to the Queen Anne and Bungalow of the early 20th century. At REMAX Preferred Group, we have experienced agents that are licensed in Indiana and are ready to help you find a home in southeastern Indiana. If the listeners are interested in purchasing real estate in Indiana, they should call Gary 
or any of our offices and ask for an Indiana Realtor. We know Southeastern Indiana, and that's this morning's Moment with Miles. Good job, Miles. Good insight. I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Indiana is just, yeah, it's just a stone's throw away. It's gorgeous over there. It is, yeah. And, uh, well, my uh, my mother grew up in Indiana. Yeah. So, very good. Thanks, Miles. We'll talk to you a little later on. That was a moment with Miles. He is the captain of our ship, him and Chris Spearsford at REMAX Preferred Group. Always look forward to that. Later on in the show, we're going to have Bill Kerrigan with the Dragonfly Foundation is going to tell us all about that organization. We've got a lot of regular listeners each week, and I'm so happy and grateful for each and every one of you. Keep telling your friends to tune in every week. And next week, I have Frida Allen. She's with Legal Shield. If you have home insurance, auto insurance, life insurance, you may want to consider legal insurance. Save me a bundle of money over the years. We'll tell you all about that next week. I have Mr. Russell Kling with me. His phone number is 513-543-7348. Best way to reach him. Absolutely. He will answer that phone. We're not going to say 24-7. I can't answer right now. No. (laughs) You're not going to answer when you see. A lot of, I know a lot of my peers uh real to put on their business card 24 7 well no well, you got to sleep sometimes yeah right and and I, I, tonight i'm not going to take calls no you're going to be uh, having some fun tonight <clears throat> that's right we set we start setting up around five o'clock we're going to kick things off at seven thirty, and we're going to rock and roll until 11 o'clock tonight so come on down most customers will realize that uh you know hey you'll get back to them shortly and that's uh yeah i've i've been in the middle of transactions and working my laptop on stage and <laughs> putting deals together, you'd have to do that. So <clears throat> we have something. Um, we want to talk about how we can get home buyers up to speed with, I've got people that call me, and, oh, by the way, I want to give a congratulations to Michael Gideon and Bob Midget. Those two will get a $10 gift card to Starbucks. They guessed it, Elvis's Mansion in Memphis, Tennessee, is called Graceland. Yeah. And Beautiful place. In the next, uh, the next segment of the show, top of the show, my music trivia, I will explain that in a little bit more detail. So um, we have a workshop coming up, Russell. We, we got together and we thought, you know, how can we, how can we help? I, I get calls from buyers all the time. They call about one of my listings uh, you know, and and. One of the first questions, have you ever bought a house before? If they say no, I said, well, they need to know what's going on. Well, even if they haven't bought a house in a while, it, it's things have changed a lot. Everything's changed. Um, not only on the, the mortgage side of the world, but also on the real estate side. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a different world. And uh, we, you, know, you and I were talking, and it's like, you know, we really need just to uh, have a, a class or a workshop to – explain what they're about to embark on mm-hmm. and uh, we're really not trying to sell our services or anything this is nope. truly a educational, in, educational informational uh, session um, you and I have done this class uh, many times over the years you see down yeah. at the University of Cincinnati and uh, it's always been a great uh, uh, experience for them and for us because I, mm-hmm. I love helping people out. I know this you is do. what we do yeah and um, you know, that's coming up, I believe, the 20, is it the 27th? March 27, Tuesday evening, from 7 till 8.30, just just 90 minutes. And it's going to be at uh, Deerfield Township in Mason at um, the community room there. The community room. It's in Suite 180 at 4500 Parkway Drive. If you want any more information about that, you can call Russell at 513-543-7348. That's 543-7348, or you can call me during the week at 777-2402. We'll set you up for that. There's, uh, we're only asking for a $10 donation, and all that's going to the Dragonfly Foundation. Yep. So we're not doing this as a money-making adventure, and whatever. We're just there to give you the information you need to know about how to buy a house because people get in the middle of a transaction and all of a sudden, these things start hitting them in the face. They go, well, I don't know what to do. What do we do next? And what do we do next? Well, if you haven't sat down with a real estate professional who is a profe- who knows the buyer end of the industry, you, you could the pieces aren't going to fall together. And if you don't have a, 
a bank that works with a title company that works with appraisers that everything fits it's not going to be that well-oiled machine and things can fall apart well, we, we find anymore that uh, the digital age, people want to sit in their pajamas on their laptop. They want to shop for a house. They want to shop for a mortgage. And they never want to really embrace anybody and ask questions. They mm-hmm. just kind of go through the motions. And then when the surprises do pop up, they're like, oh, what do I do now? Yeah. And, and they, they don't have anybody to speak to and say, what what do I do? So it, it's, uh, it's a great way for the people that are in that digital and they want to do everything through online or <coughs> electronically. Um, to take the you know take an hour and a half of their day and, or their week and and just sit mm-hmm. down and and listen to all the important things that they need to know before they embark on that journey. We're not going to give you uh, an overwhelming amount of information. We're going to just keep it very simple. We're going to hit some of the basics. For example, what's the role of a real estate agent in the buying process? Uh, you mentioned something in the first segment about buyers getting into a multiple offer situation we call it or that a lot of people call it the bidding war because you got two and three or four buyers trying to buy the same house. I have a simple solution that I've been using for a few years now with the market changing, which can almost, I'd say 85% of the time guarantee that my buyer will win out in that scenario. I've had uh, customers come in and, and say, I think they, they just told me that, that someone else had a better offer, so I'd up my offer. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's like, uh, it's not, I don't think that's yeah. really the case. I, I think there, yeah. there may be multiple offers out there. We have our feet to the fire. That's why you want to work with a realtor. Mm-hmm. Realtors are members of the National Association and our local uh, board of realtors, and we have a code of ethics. And one, in that code, it's multi-pages, and we have to be honest and, and fair and we, we can't play those games. If we get caught playing those games by anyone else, uh, it would mean losing my license. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's a livelihood. You don't want to lose another your livelihood. agent tells me something is true. I have to take that for face value. There are ways to follow up and working with realtors. You can be, be guaranteed that that satisfaction. So these are some of the things we'll talk about. The banking industry is all over the place, too. Well, and the same thing. You know, your loan officer that you're working with, you know, they've got to be fair and honest because, again, you know, we're we're registered now and you don't want anything blemishes on our records that right. we have said or misrepresented a, a situation. Um, so, you know, the, the, the industry has changed and right. there's a lot, of, a lot of riffraff that was in the business is long gone. Uh, the, the, the good ones have survived and are still out there working hard for everybody. We got to go away for a second break. When we come back, I'm going to present you my music trivia, and we're going to talk about getting a loan with no closing costs. That's interesting. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on 1480 WDJO 99.5 and 107.9 FM. Why rent when you can own with no money down? If you're looking to become a first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy, you may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, or even your whole down payment. That's right. You can own your own home with no money down. Find out if you qualify. Call Gary at 513-777-240. All right, we had two winners so far for the $10 gift card. If anybody wants to get a $10 gift card, feel free to call us, 5135. We gave away the answer already, though. You did. You can't win. <laughs> we already gave away the answer. We got tons more people watching. Great. Uh, Kathy, hey Kathy, we'll see you tonight, you and Lee. Uh, Kat, Steve, Mark, Mark Cotman, hey Mark. Uh, Tony, Mitch, my cousin Mitch, thanks for watching, Mitch, appreciate that. I'll call you later. Steve Casper. Steve, he's been around for a long time. You've been around longer than I have, man. You gotta be very well preserved right now. Uh, all right, so thank you, folks, for watching. We appreciate that. Um, we're gonna plug you back into the studio feed, and we'll finish up. Oh. 
minutes north of downtown Atlanta. Go to ultimateairshuttle.com now for promotions and schedule details. If there's anyone who loves your car as much as you do, it's AAA. We're the original auto club, and for over 100 years, we've been dedicated to keeping you and your car moving. Your car is an extension of you. Protecting your car from the elements is just as important as keeping it running at peak performance. AAA Auto Wash, now at two convenient locations, 5215 Madison Avenue and 3330 Central Parkway. Triple A Auto Wash, member discounts, quality clean, and no tips since 1964. Dr. Peck is probably without a doubt the best in Cincinnati. If you're comfortable with your smile, then you don't have a problem laughing or smiling at the situation or whatever it might be. I've never had a problem that Dr. Peck didn't solve. He does such a good job, they're very natural looking. Dr. Peck puts the patient first. For your own beautiful new smile, call Dr. Fred Peck at 513-621-7666 or visit PeckSmiles.com. I'm Judy King, and I love my new smile. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Courtney Spamer. For today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies. It'll be chilly with occasional rain throughout the day, high near 44 degrees. Clearing skies tonight, cold as the low drops down to 28 And a milder day for tomorrow to end the weekend. Lots of sunshine and a high of 55. We'll see cloudy skies returning as we get into Monday. A breezy afternoon with a high of 52 degrees. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Courtney Spamer on 1480 WDJO and now on FM 99.5 and 107.9. Let's have a little bit of fun with music trivia for this day, March 17, 2018. Back on this day in 1957, Elvis Presley bought the Graceland Mansion from Mrs. Ruth Brown Moore for, get this, $102,500. The 23-room, 10,000-square-foot home on 13.8 acres of land would be expanded to 17,552 square feet of living space before the king moved and a few weeks later. The original building had one time been a place of worship used by the Graceland Christian Church and was named after the builder's daughter, Grace Tuff. There you have the story of Graceland. What a pretty song. On this day in 1967, working at Abbey Road Studios in London, the Beatles finished the recording of She's Leaving Home after adding backing vocals to the track. The harpist you heard at the top of the show, Sheila Bromberg, who was part of the string section on the track, became the first woman to play on a Beatles recording. Didn't know that. I love this song. I don't believe it. Today in 1973, <laughs> Dr. Hook's single on the cover of Rolling Stone peaked at number six on the U.S. chart. It was banned in the U.K. by the BBC due to the reference of the magazine. <laughs> and get this, and today in 1978, U2 won $850 and a chance to audition for CBS Ireland in a talent contest held in Dublin. The Limerick Civic Week Pop 78 competition was sponsored by the Evening Express and Guinness Harper Guinness Harp Lager before they had all the micro brews. <laughs> Today in 1984, Van Halen's Jump peaked at number one in the U.S. Over the years, David Lee Roth has given various accounts of the meaning behind the lyrics, but most often says they are about a TV news story he saw where a man was about to kill himself by jumping off a building. And today in 1997, Elvis Presley's Enterprise of Memphis, Tennessee, lost its court appeal of appeal battle to stop London trader Sid Shaw from using the name The King on his souvenirs. The legal tussle with Mr. Shaw, who ran a memorabilia shop called Elvis Lee Yours, had been going on for over 17 years. Speaking after the ruling, Mr. Shaw said, I'm delighted. 
I've proved that Elvis belongs to all of us. Elvis is part of our history, part of our culture. There you go. We do have a couple birthdays today. Born on this day in 1944, American singer, songwriter, guitarist, harmonicist, and auto harpist, John Sebastian, who is best known as founder of the Love and Spoonful. They had the 1966 number two single, Daydream, and also the number one single, Summer in the City. And Sebastian scored the solo number one single in 1976, this song, Welcome Back. We all know it from Welcome Back, Back Potter. Potter. Yeah. In August of 1969, Sebastian made a memorable unscheduled appearance at Woodstock. He was not on the performance bill and traveled to the festival as a spectator. But he was asked to appear when the organizers suddenly needed an acoustic performer after a rain break. Didn't know that either. 1946, this gentleman was born, the Cisco Kid, Harold Brown. He's the drummer and vocalist and band leader with the American funk band War. Their album, The War Is The World Is a Ghetto, was the best selling U.S. album of 1973. They also scored the 1973 U.S. single. This song, Cisco Kid. I hope you enjoy these fun facts of music history as I enjoy putting it together for you. There you go. Didn't know all this stuff, did you? Uh, I, learned, <laughs> I learned a few things today. I like to learn you something. That's right. So uh, if you want to have some fun tonight, come down to the VFW Hall in Sharonville. You will be able to dance the night away to the horn driving the horn driving sounds of Bluestone Ivory, uh, seven thirty to eleven, and you'll be able to you go to our website bluestoneivory.com. You can see our entire schedule for the summer. We are going to be all over town, and I'm not going to give you the whole lineup litany, but we're just going to be everywhere: um, Miami Valley Gaming. Bellevue, Assumption, Liberty Center, Keener Park, Westchester, Coney Island, my uh, Arlington Memorial, Spring Grove, Weather, uh, St. John's Parish Festival, Cold Springs, Kentucky. We're all over the place. Come out and enjoy our fun music. I have with me Mr. Russell Kling. He is with People's First Savings Bank. His phone number is 513-543-7348. And you moved there about six months ago. You've been with the big companies. You've been with the companies that had you traveling all over the East Coast, back and forth. <laughs> You've been with some smaller companies. And you set your sails for a place where you can call home. This is your home now. Well, except your home with you and Renee. Yeah. Well, You didn't say hi to Renee. Uh, good morning, Renee. <laughs> you better say hi to her. Um <clears throat> But you have a really special, and, and I'm anxious to find out, how can you do a loan? I mean, it costs money to put these things together. It, it does. I mean, a lot of people are always surprised when they get that, uh, what they call a loan estimate, and they, they, they open it up. $2,500 closing costs. You know. Well, that's just the closing costs. Yeah. It sometimes doesn't include title insurance. Of course and, not. And uh, <laughs> then you want owner's title insurance on top of that. It can get very, very expensive to purchase a home. And again, being a small bank, we can be a little bit more flexible. We don't have a lot of overhead. We're not like you know, we're not paying for a great big building downtown mm -hmm. or anything like that. So um, you know, we were running um, uh, for the last couple quarters a two hundred and fifty dollars closing cost special, and that included the title exam, the title search, the origination fee, the processing fee, the underwriting fee. But you're doing one better than that now. We we are um, we're we're now going to be doing a zero closing cost. Um, how you know, can you do that? It, you, you know, it's it, 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 I hate to use the word make it up in volume, but you know we we do loans both. You know, we sell to Freddie Mac. Um, they they uh, do fixed rates. They don't require title insurance on their loans. So if the as long as the transaction doesn't have a uh, restricted covenants, which is like a condominium mm -hmm. or a PUD, um, they don't require title insurance. Now, as a good realtor, you're going to say, hey, if you're buying a house, you may want to get title yeah, insurance, yeah, yeah. owner's title mm -hmm. policy. So our closing cost <laughs> special that we're running does not include the owner's title insurance okay. or if they need title insurance, if it's a condominium or a PUD. But uh, besides that – PUD means plan unit, unit development. development. Right. 
And that could be either condominium-looking type buildings or mm-hmm. a lot of new subdivisions now are being built as PUDs. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. you know, they think, oh, yeah, surprise, you know, which now they get this m- bill. Yeah. <laughs> which means that you pay homeowners association fees. You have to agree to the covenants and restrictions of the homeowners association if they uh, have a – there's the maintenance of the uh, – of all the uh, – local areas that is owned by everyone and uh they and may have some a- and some of those can be very strict they can they can enforce that mm-hmm. if you have an rv you can't park no, it in the right. driveway or a boat can't or change the oil in your car in you, your driveway you can't put a fence up without their approval and they have certain types of fences mm-hmm. that you can do it they're very restrictive in what they can do yeah so you know we're going back to our, our closing costs we are running a special right now you know, people are, again, they're getting a little shell-shocked over the cost of buying a home. And it used to be, oh, yeah, we'll just add it into the purchase price. Mm-hmm. Well, they're not getting that added into the purchase price anymore. So they're looking for lenders that can that – And can, your rate's not going to be – Our higher. rates are very competitive in the marketplace. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of overhead. We're not a huge bank. Um, so, you know, we're looking at, uh, you know, on a 30-year fixed rates today or in that range of four and a half, four and three quarters, depending upon you – know, there's so many factors that – Mm-hmm. factored into sure. rates anymore um but the uh, rates are very competitive uh we also offer portfolio financing um as miles mentioned before construction loans we probably have one of the least expensive construction loans out there and we've been doing lots of those mm-hmm. um, because our service is good and uh, our costs are low you're investor friendly we are investor friendly um you know we don't we don't want to fill up on investor loans but we uh you know, we'll we'll do investment properties, mm-hmm. and um, we we'll do we'll do some of those strange things that come you, every once in a while. You, something strange comes along that Fannie and Freddie says, you know, it's a good loan, but it doesn't meet our requirements. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's a good loan, we'll take a look at it. You know, we're we're not afraid to make decisions because uh, they consider themselves a, a community bank. You know, and they want- can actually come in and sit down and meet you. And you'll get with the committee, and you can let them know within a few days or so. Um, generally, yes. You know, uh, the underwriter's right down the hallway. You walk down there and say, hey, mm-hmm. this is what I got. What do you think? And we just did did a loan for somebody that, oh, my God, they're just happy as can be. They it, Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a situation that was, you, you know, again, Fannie Freddie said, nope, doesn't meet our guidelines. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like, hey, you know, if you look at everything else, if everything else was perfect except for this little blemish, you know, we were able to do that transaction. Yeah. So, you know, we'll we'll do that later on. That you know, when things improve, they can they can uh, uh, look at other types of financing. But it was a great uh, great solution for their their situation. Zero closing cost loan, and that's going to be going on for at least a few weeks. G- generally, we run them per quarter. These specials. Okay. So I would say um, that we're going to run it for the quarter. The last one was very successful. They thought, well, you know, if that was successful, this will make it even more successful. So, yeah, yeah give me a call. 513-543-7348. We need to go away for our last break. When we come back, we're going to have a little visit with Bill Kerrigan with the Dragonfly Foundation. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on 4, WDJO, 1480 AM, 99.5 FM, and 107.9 FM. Well, the house is- Celebrate St. Patrick's Day this Saturday at the Paul Vale VFW Post in Sharonville with Cincinnati's greatest classic rock band, Bluestone Ivory. Just $10 per person includes chips, pretzels, and an affordable cash bar. Plus, a portion of the proceeds benefit the Dragonfly Foundation. Nonstop music and hard-driving horn sounds of Bluestone Ivory. Doors open at 7 with music from 7.30 to 11.30. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day this Saturday at the Paul Vale VFW Post in Sharonville with Bluestone Ivory. Visit bluestoneivory.com for ticket info. Honey, I can't get this done. I'll have to call a plumber. We'll make it Zen's Plumbing. I've never heard anything but the best about them. Why is that? They're a longtime local family-owned firm that I know I can trust. Zen's Plumbing? Okay, I'll call them. Zin's Plumbing, can I help you? Yes, I hope so. My wife gave me strict orders to call only you. Well, we appreciate that. We do try to be the best plumbing firm in town, and we've been at it close to 40 years now. Well, how do you charge? Do I get a shock when I see the bill? With Zin's Plumbing, you'll always know how much a job will cost before we start. We bill on a flat rate basis, not an inefficient hourly billing system. How soon can I get service? Usually on the same day. We work within a two-hour time frame. That sounds great. Zen's Plumbing is great. 
ask anyone who knows. Call them at 513-681-2501. 681-2501. Hey, just ask your delivery guy. Or the guy who built your delivery guy's house. Or the guy who laid the highway for the guy who built your delivery guy's house. Ford commercial vehicles can handle the job. During commercial vehicle season, save on Transit, Transit Connect, E-Series, Super Duty, and Medium Duty trucks. Ford trucks and vans. Year after year, America's best-selling line of commercial vehicles because they're built Ford tough. Claim based on IHS market calendar year 1985 through 2017. U.S. TIP registrations excluding registrations to individual seer dealer for details. Why rent when you can own with no money down? If you're looking to become a first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy, you may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, or even your whole down payment. That's right. You can own your own home with no money down. Find out if you qualify. Call Gary at 513-777-2402. That's Gary at 513-777-2402. Get on. Let's rock your house. We are rocking and rolling this morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary O'Rosignol on St. Patrick's Day. I'm with Remax Preferred Group, better known as Cincinnati's Rock and Roll Realtor. And this is what I call the Dragonfly Corner. It's brought to you by GMJ Productions. And I have with me on the phone, not Rhea Davidson. He has a little bit deeper voice. Yeah. But he's as exciting as Rhea is because Rhea has excited. She has she has put the honor of representing the Dragonfly Foundation to this gentleman. And every time I meet him, he's like, He's a ball of fire, man, and his two twin daughters are gorgeous. <laughs> so I present to you Mr. Bill Garrigan. Hey, Bill. All right. How you doing, Gary? I'm doing fantastic, Bill. How about you? Happy St. Patrick's Day, buddy. You bet. You bet. A lot of St. Patty's Day things going on today. Yeah. And a lot of them that the Dragonfly Foundation is being involved in, I believe. Yeah, no doubt about it. We've got a really cool promotion going on right now. Um, Paxton's Grill in downtown Loveland, uh, just a great eatery, full bar, uh, great beers on tap. During the March Madness games, so this has already started, Mm -hmm. that'll be running all day today and all day tomorrow, during the March Madness games, Paxton's Grill is going to donate 5% of their sales back to the Dragonfly Foundation. And so it's St. Patty's Day. What a great idea is to just load up your friends and family and come on down to Paxton's. There's big screens everywhere, so you, all the games will be on. And uh, these guys just do a great job, friendly service, great staff. And uh, Ralph Dunnigan, who's the owner-operator, uh, just runs a great place. And uh, we really appreciate it. This is the second year that they've done this, Gary. Yeah. And uh, it made a very, very nice uh, donation back to Dragonfly last year, and we're hoping to do bigger and better this year. That's great. This is dragonfly.org is their website. You can go to that website anytime, day or night, and they're going to explain everything that they do, how they change the paradigm of the patients who are suffering from blood disease or cancer. And these are at at, uh, Children's Hospital. And uh, they hold the family unit together. They distract them from their disease. And they... And they improve the mortality rate of these patients tenfold because their psyche has changed. Because you put smiles on their face, you take them to things, you do things for them. They get to go. They're not stuck in a hospital room forever. They get to leave. They get to have fun. So this is what the Dragonfly Foundation does. Dragonfly dot org, and I think we have uh, Mr. Is it Ralph? I think the owner of Paxton's. Is that right, Bill? Oh. Yeah, it's Ralph Dunnigan. Ralph Dunnigan. I think he called Hello. in. He wants to, yeah. Oh, we got you got we got you both on here. I got go, through, yes. Yeah, good morning, Ralph. Kind of how are you? Here, but I wanted to take a couple minutes to listen to you and, and talk a little bit about how we enjoy doing this. So. All right. Well, tell us all about it real quick. We got about two minutes. Sure. Absolutely. We've been in uh, business now since 2000, oh, four minutes. and um, my partners and I are big believers in uh, giving back, and uh, we... Um, get back to a number of charities here in Loveland. We have a golf outing every year, and we love to help uh, the Dragonfly Foundation as well. Now, I've eaten this at your promotion place. Yeah, we're doing here. Your restaurant is great. The food is great. The service is great. Thank it you. Is, it's a fun place. <clears throat> You've got plenty of parking for being downtown Loveland, too. That's great. So, so go <laughs> out to you. Paxson's Grill today during the games. 
Of course, you want to come down and listen to Blues on Ivory tonight. <laughs> but, but at any rate, and uh, we're going to do split the pot. We'll probably raise a couple hundred bucks for Dragonfly Foundation tonight as well. But um, so, so thanks, Ralph, for doing that. Uh, that's You're very welcome. generous. Yeah. Uh, what, what's, thank you what's and your, thank Bill. What's your specialty at uh, Paxson's Grill? Well, right now, um, if you came in today, you get a good, uh, nice bowl of uh, corned beef and cabbage or a nice bowl of uh, Irish stew. And green but beer, normally right? we uh, have a number of great sandwiches. Our club sandwich is well known. Uh, we call it Cincinnati's Best. Yeah, uh, Big Passion is a huge uh, burger to enjoy. But we have a number of fish uh, dishes and a number of uh, vegetarian dishes as well. So there you go. And right and, now we have breakfast on the weekend, Saturday and, and Sunday and, mornings. And green beer today, right? Yes, we are. All right, green there beer. Go. There you go. <laughs> if you want your green beer, go to Paxson's, and five percent of everything you buy goes to the Dragonfly Foundation. Correct. So Gary, thank Gary, uh, thanks so much. Yeah. So tell me, Bill, what what's uh, besides the uh, March Madness thing? We got, you're involved in the Shamrock Shuffle today. Uh, I am not personally involved, but they are, and uh, I think uh, another big event coming up that I should just mention is the golf outing on oh, May yeah. 21st. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rhea and the team are still looking for a few sponsors, um, and so if uh, golfing is something you want to do, it's one of the best outings in the city. Uh, oh, just yeah. a tremendous day, so uh, if you're looking for something fun to do and a way to uh, to help out the Dragonfly Foundation, get involved with, with a whole sponsorship, or there's another, a number of other sponsorship options. Opportunities. You bet, you bet. And if you want to help the Dragonfly Foundation right now, folks, pick up your smartphone, pick up your telephone, whatever you use to communicate with, and text the word WINGS15, that's W-I-N-G-S, 15 to 71777. And you can donate anywhere from $5, 50 500 5000 whatever makes you feel good. That's a very secured website. You you don't have to worry about uh, being hacked in on that one, and uh, eighty-eight point five percent of every bit of your donations goes right to the families of the Dragonfly Foundation that needs it the most. So um, there you go, Bill. What else is happening, Gary? That's that's about it. I just want to clarify that it's not only today at Paxton's Grill, but it's during every NCAA tournament game over the next couple of weeks. Okay, and so. If you can't make it today, come tomorrow. If you can't make it tomorrow, then come next Thursday, and uh, and you'll be doing uh, you'll have some great food, great fun, and a great venue, and you'll be doing a whole lot of good for those dragonfly families. If you want to put a smile on Ralph's uh, face, go in and tell him, "Hey, I want to see Ralph. I heard he on the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour." <laughs> Do it. All right, very good, Bill. Thank you very much for calling in, Ralph. Thank you. We appreciate that. Uh, I want to thank Russell Kling for being here today. His phone number is 513-543-7348. March 27 is our workshop. Uh, call either him or myself at 777-2402. I'll be happy to uh, discuss any real estate item that you need. I'm open for business. Tune in next week. I'll have a great show. I've got uh, Frida Allen. She represents Legal Shield, which uh, is something that you need to hear about because if you have health insurance and auto insurance and home insurance, You need legal insurance. You're going to find out why. Coming up next is Tony Bender and Dane Donovan and the Car Tech Show. And to wrap things up this week, this is a taste of what you can hear tonight at the Sharonville VFW Hall. This is a live recording of Bluestone Ivory performing Joe Cocker's version of the box box tops single hit, The Letter. Give me a ticket for an airplane. Time to take no fast train. Ooh, the lonely days are gone. I'm coming home. Baby, she wrote me a letter.
thank you for tuning in to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour starring yours truly, Gary Rosignol. For all your real estate needs, you can reach me at 513-777-2402 or go to rockandrollrealestateagent.com. These are my regular major sponsors who make this show possible. Rakina Niehaus of Wood and Lamping, the musical insurance guy, Gary Rasmussen of Farmers Insurance, Bob Pape with Polaris Home Funding Corp., Mike McCormick, the Cincy Tax Coach, Dan Orner of First Title Agency, John Cordell with Inspections Plus, Ed Hensley with West Banco, Steve Walls of Rivertown Title, Tom Capuano with Pillar to Post, Greg Highland of Cooper Electric, and Russell Kling with People's First Savings Bank. I would also like to thank Chris and Miles Beersford, managing brokers of REMAX Preferred Group. A special thank you to 1480 WDJO station manager Gary Stevens and my producer Dan Gettelfinger. A real big thank you to all my clients, friends, family, and fans of Blue Sun Ivory, of course, Rhea Davidson with the Dragonfly Foundation, and a special on Facebook. I thank everybody for tuning in and watching. Got a bunch of people that watch today. Thank you very much. We'll be back here next week with another compelling show you don't want to miss. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.